You know, I never thought I'd say it, but Stephen A. Smith, he made a good point the other day on first take. And he was alluding to this whole issue with uh, Patrick Kane, who was an NHL player, and he's been, you know, accused of domestic violence. Now, you don't see the media and, you know, uh, social media and, and everybody on Facebook and Twitter reacting to his domestic violence case as they did Ray Rice. And, you know, the other day, you know, Stephen A. Smith, he spoke truth on that particular issue and how we have biased treatment when it comes to black players opposed to white players. Now, the thing I have with Stephen A. Smith is he says things when it's convenient. When Massa says, you better not say this because it's going to jeopardize my money or I might have the feminist movement after me. That's when he takes that nigga snack and he shuts up. But, you know, I will give him credit on this particular issue because he did speak truth about it. And I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to give your feedback, you can. The lawyer for the woman accusing Patrick Kane of sexual assault said evidence was tampered with. Now her attorney said an empty evidence bag, which he said had contained the rape kit, was left in the doorway of the woman's mother's home. The Hamburg Police and Erie County Central Police Services in New York said all evidence has been accounted for and handled correctly. Kane's lawyer said that he welcomes an investigation of the bag incident since results of the DNA testing favor his client. No charges has been filed in this case yet. Kane went to training camp with the Blackhawks a week ago and made his preseason debut on Tuesday. Now, this isn't the first time Kane has run into legal issues. In August of 2009, Kane and his cousin were arrested in Buffalo after an altercation with a cab driver. Stephen A., are you okay with Kane playing during this investigation? No, I am not. But it would happen to be because of the absence of an uproar over Patrick Kane. Now, let me be very, very clear. To my knowledge, he has not been charged. We understand that. He has not been he has, charged. He has not been charged. Yes. That is entirely different from Ray Rice, who was charged. It mm -hmm. is entirely different from Greg Hardy, who was charged. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, that's a legal issue as it pertains to law enforcement and what have you. My indictment is not against them. It would be against Patrick Kane if he is guilty of such acts. Yeah. He definitely needs to be in jail. If he is innocent of such allegations, then my apologies for even bringing up this subject because it puts him in a national spotlight even more so. And if he is innocent, he doesn't deserve that. If he is innocent. Having said that, my issue pertains to this. The National Hockey League, men's tennis, the PGA have no domestic violence, violence policies whatsoever. But everybody was up in arms when Ray Rice and Greg Hardy went down. Major League Baseball, which was sparked by the whole Ray Rice fiasco, suddenly implemented its own domestic violence policy. But according to numerous reports, Numerous major leaguers over the years have been accused of or charged with domestic violence. And in the last quarter century, however, none has been punished on a league level. So let's add Major League Baseball to that list. Okay. Major League Baseball, even though they have a policy, mm -hmm. okay, didn't have one. No league level, you know, uh, you know, ramifications came down on players or yeah. managers, by the way. Okay, because Bobby Cox, formerly of the Atlanta Braves, yeah. certainly had his issues. Nothing with the PGA, nothing with, with tennis, nothing with the National Hockey League. Does anyone see a pattern here? These are predominantly white-dominated sports. But when it comes to the National Football League and when it comes to the National Basketball Association, everybody is up in arms talking about there's an epidemic going on. Let's address it. Now, let me be very, very clear. I am a black man unapologetically 
I have never been involved in domestic violence in my life. I have never put my hands on a woman in my entire life. And I'm here to vouch for a vast majority of players in the National Football League and the National Basketball Association who happen to be black, who have never done such things. But when you see the few incidences that have taken place and you see the uproar and you see a nation standing up and saying this is a problem that we have to address to the point where Roger Goodell's job was supposed to be on the line until the owner stepped up and said we think he's doing a fine job compelling Adam Silver to then step in and to make sure that something was implemented as it pertained to that and that was publicized you had a two leagues in a, in, a Nash, in a United States of America that had to stand up front and center and say, this is a definitely an issue that we will address. We have given it the attention that it deserves. But you have a guy who is a star in the National Hockey League who is being accused of such things, not charged, I understand that, but is being accused of such things. And I don't see an uproar. I don't see, you know, I, I'm not saying it hasn't been reported. ESPN has reported it on SportsCenter. Yeah. Various publications have written about it. I'm talking about the public yep. uproar mm -hmm. when it comes to this. And I'm going to repeat this again. The National Hockey League, the Tennis Association, the PGA, and until recently, Major League Baseball. Predominantly white sports. Little to nothing going on here. We even have Gary Bettman. On the record, Skip Bayless, on the record, talk, I got to find this quote right here because they said last September, Commissioner Gary Bettman for the National Hockey League took an active stance against domestic violence and sexual assault while speaking in Toronto. In yeah. the months since, he has expressed no interest in negotiating a domestic violence policy and a sexual assault policy with the NHL Players Association. And then the last paragraph of this article that I'm reading talks about Batman has assured fans in the media that no new policy is needed because, quote, our players know what is right and wrong. That's his statement. And he gets away with this. Mm. What are we trying to say here? When people look around and they see a bunch of black men who have a problem with the society that we live in. When they see a bunch of black men who are talking about and alluding to the prevalence of racism, these are the kind of things that give those thoughts credence mm -hmm. because we're seeing stuff that's implemented disproportionately and that's the problem if this is good for the national football league and it's good for the nba and black players are being labeled with insinuations and beyond because of the actions of a few how did major league baseball get away with this all of these years how are we not talking more about patrick kane how is it that the national hockey league the players you know the tennis association and the pga have no policy whatsoever and then you wonder why black folks get upset and they say, oh, my Lord, maybe racism is still alive and well. Think about it. That's all I got to say. Hmm. Wow. Well, I say amen to much of what you said. Now, Larry, oh, my goodness, Larry. You OK.